Okay, trick question time. How many springs do I have on this blue towel? Answer carefully. If you said one, well, you're partially right. I do have a coil spring here. But I have a couple of ARP fasteners here, which when they're used properly, technically act like a spring. Uh, it's not a spring that you're gonna see, you know, rapidly compressing and decompressing, you know, like a coil spring will. But when you choose the proper fasteners for a job, be it a rod bolt or a main bolt, you want to insert the bolt and tighten it to the point where it just starts to stretch, okay? And the proper uh, torque, spec, and, and selection of these bolts will allow it to clamp everything that you're trying to hold in place without this thing stretching during its use cycle. So for example, if you have a main cap or a rod bolt, the connecting rod bolt has to hold the bottom end of that connecting rod and the cap in place uh, with the piston and the wrist pin and the, everything you know associated with that assembly as it spins at high RPM without stretching or breaking. If these stretch too far, they're fatigued and then it will not only introduce some play into a, a rod assembly which causes a failure, but it will uh, weaken the bolt and then it'll break. So they do need to stretch to be functioning properly. And the reason why I bring this up is some people will, will tighten a bolt until it just feels tight, until the threads are you know, kind of bound in the hole. But that's not necessarily tight enough. You really need to put a torque wrench on it to crank these things down to the proper spec to put a stretch on the bolt. And if you really want to be precise, use a bolt stretch gauge because that will let you measure the amount that the fastener has stretched. And this one is stainless, which introduces a whole nother problem. If you use stainless bolts without some sort of a, uh, a thread lubricant like this ARP Ultra Torque uh, assembly lube, these threads being stainless will bind against the, uh, the threaded hole much faster than a regular steel bolt will because that's the nature of stainless. So you get an improper feeling of it being tight. So you always want to use a proper assembly lube. And the ARP catalog is a great source to select the proper bolts for proper usage. And there's a whole bunch of science and proof behind this spring theory. So if you don't believe me, just check out the ARP catalog.